All-Star Wrestling once again will return to the beautiful Capital Center. On Saturday afternoon, November 22, scheduled to compete will be Quick Draw Rick McGraw squaring off against the Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion Ken Patera. On the 22nd of November that afternoon, we shall also see the Samoans, Afa and Sika, in the tag team title match against a tremendous combination in every respect, that of Tony Gurria and his tag team partner, Rick Martell. And ladies and gentlemen, on the 22nd of November, the big cat himself, six feet nine inches of the big cat, Ernie Ladd, will square off against Mr. USA Tony Atlas. Notwithstanding the presence on the card of Pedro Morales, who will meet Sergeant Slaughter. And for the World Wrestling Federation Championship, the title holder, Bob Backlund, set to take on the number one contender, Larry Zabisco. Our guest at this moment, Captain Louis Albano, along with perhaps the toughest tag team combination in the history of tag teams, the Samoans. Well, you know, McMahon, you said it yourself, the captain handles nothing but the best. And right here in the nation's capital, I intend to establish, without the shadow of a doubt, that the Samoans are truly legends in their own right. They are truly Mr. deserving Albano. of the title because we're taking on the best. Rick you Martel are indeed taking on the and best. Tony Gurria. However, need I remind you the Samoans were defeated once before for the title. They are obviously capable of being defeated well, at the Capitol Center. I believe I've explained that any man on a given day can be beaten, especially in the World Wide Wrestling Federation where you have the finest competitors in the world today. They're all super heavyweights. They're big, they're strong, they're tough. So you can, if you're vulnerable, if you're open, if you have an off day and you are, you're open, you can be beaten. So you've got to be concerned. You've got to be dealing with it, with it at the right time. You've got to meditate. You've got to think. You've got to be just a little quicker, just a little faster, just a little more integrity, intestinal fortitude and ability, and I believe we have that. Plus the courage. Lou Albano along with the Samoans preparing to defend the title at the Capitol Center. Now our guest, the World Wrestling Federation champion, Bob Backlund. And Mr. Backlund, meeting the one individual that you said yourself, that you would more than any other hate to see wearing the championship belt around his waist, making reference to your opponent, Larry Zabisco. Yes, uh, you know that, Vince. We've talked about that a number of times, about the way Larry zabisco has got where he's at. You know, at one time, I respect this this man very, very much. He's a great wrestler. He was great in college, and he was a good uh, high school wrestler, and I uh, started in elementary school, and um, his, uh, his past is uh, very, very similar to mine, but until that day where he took advantage of the best friend he ever had and uh, hit him over the head with a chair and it changed his whole outlook on things. I don't know how long his mind has been thinking about doing that, but um, you can't trust this man. He's worse than the men, say, like the Samoans. You know they're wild, you know they're crazy, but Larry Sabisco is one of the best wrestlers in professional wrestling, but yet he can, he'll, you never know what he's going to do, Vince. And that's what makes it rough, you know, because you got to watch him because he can beat you in wrestling and he can go ahead and try to get away with anything there is. Well, Bob, I'm sure you're going to be ready for almost anything when you meet Mr. Zabisco. The best of luck to you. Well, I'm really looking forward to getting to that ring in the Capitol Center because I want to beat this man. Thank you very much. Bob Backlund, hopeful of defeating Larry Zabisco for the World Wrestling Federation Championship at the Capitol Center. Now our guest. The Grand Wizard, along with Sergeant Slaughter, who I believe makes his first appearance at the Capitol Center, meeting Pedro Morales. That is correct, McMahon, and I would like to invite especially all the women to bring pencils and papers. Thanksgiving is almost upon us, and the sergeant is going to show you how to really stuff a turkey. A turkey that answers to the name of Pedro Morales right through the mat. Morales, you think you're going to make a comeback going against a man like Slaughter? You have no chance. Cobra Clutch, correct, Sergeant? That's right, General. You know, I'd never wrestled Pedro Molasses before, but there's always a first time for you, Morales. I'm looking forward to taking you down and rubbing your nose all over that arena floor, all over the ropes. I might even drag you outside the ring and rub your nose up and down the aisles. You know, the, you're, you're old news. I'm what's happening today. I'm the man of the hour. The first time I heard about you, Morales, I thought my thumbs were food. Sergeant Slaughter meets Pedro Morales. Bob Backlund takes on Larry Zabisco. All of that and more headed your way Saturday afternoon, November 22.